Hi, uh, this is payroll accounting topic four, uh, contemporary payroll practices. So a lot of things have changed in payroll because of technology. Um, let's, let's, let, you know, let's go through a few of these. Uh, believe it or not, direct deposit is a fairly new process in the last 25 years. It might not seem that recent, but you know, before that, it was a, you know, you'd get the pay paycheck in the mail or whatever. You go to the bank and have to deposit it. Uh, electronic filing has, has sped a lot of things up. Uh, Timekeeping methods have become more advanced. Pay cards, which we'll learn about later, is a form of payment that didn't exist before. Uh, we have international employees that was rare in olden times. Uh, payroll might be outsourced, you know, to like ADP or some other payroll company, large payroll companies. Um, uh, payroll is commonly integrated into an enterprise uh, computer system. This was not the case when I first started working in accounting. We had different systems that never communicated with one another, but now that's commonly integrated. Um, you know, security over conf confidential information is more serious. There's cloud-based software. And frankly, there's been a bunch of um, uh, some some government regulations. So a privacy act, right? How our how our information is 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 kept uh, uh, well kept private, right? How how we can secure our confidential information. The Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. This was in 1986, by the way. So computers were just barely on the scene. Um, and uh, one of the one of the obvious ones is. Uh, uh, the employer identification number, or I-E-N. Let me try that again, E-I-N. And so um, uh, this is a way that a company's employers can have their own separate identification. Before this, e everything was an individual and a social security number. So this, this established a way for uh, an employer, a business to, to get an identification number. All right, so a handful of things there. Let's take a look at, uh, we've got three practice questions, eight, nine, and 15. Again, I would recommend pausing the video and then uh, looking at those and then coming back if you need um, a discussion about it. All right, let's take a look at a few of these questions. The first one says, what's the correct definition of a time card? And right, a time card is a contemporary payroll practice. I guess it's <laughs> contemporary. I mean, uh, they don't have to be the kind you put in the machine and, you know, crank it down anymore. But, you know, there's usually some way scanning or whatever that we keep track of time. So uh, the correct definition here, a record of the time worked during a period for an individual employee. So if I had a, if I had to check in and check out of work with a time card, it would keep track of all of the hours I worked. Uh, let's do the next one. Which the, what is the correct definition for a pay card? Now, I told you we're going to learn about pay cards more later, but this is the definition. Um, a pay card is a preloaded credit card uh, that's used to pay employees. So some employees don't have bank accounts or like bank accounts. And so the idea of getting a pay card, just a, just a debit card, credit card, I'm not exactly sure what, how, what form it takes, but it has your... Uh, wages on there, and then you just slide it and pay for things like you you know would normally uh, use a charge card for. Finally, what's the correct definition of outsourced payroll? Outsourced payroll. Uh, this is when we use an external company to track time and benefits and play, pay employees. Okay.